from my initial experience with the mothership, the first trip, and I saw the uh, T-bars and the boards on top, I was like, yeah, this is gonna be perfect for, you know, any shallow water fishing marshy. And it, you know, it extended our, uh, you know, exploration distances into the marsh because of the shallow water ability of the boards and it just works out great. Yeah, we got out there to the flat we wanted to get in on where it's hard to access just by board. So we were on the mother boat and jumped out over a, a flat, almost a shoal like protecting some really shallow marsh. I missed a couple nice fish. They were, they were better fish. Uh, I hated for them to come off. One of them was uh, well into the fight too, so yeah, it was a little heartbreaker, but did redeem themselves and got, got onto a few more. When you hook up, there's just nothing like it. it the, you're already in contact with the fish more than being on the bow of a boat. I mean, you're, you're, he's already got the board moving on initial run. The toe, toe effect comes into play and uh, there's nothing like it. I mean, the bigger the fish, the easier it is to reel yourself up to the fish and you're settled up on them. And uh, that's it. I mean, big redfish, no problem on a board. Still stand up paddle boarding as a sport is the largest growing sport. And just the fishing side of it is just getting noticed. Even though the board's designed for fishing, I mean, it's, it's a board. It's just like any other recreational board. You know, you could do anything, the little buoy spins, and I was really amazed I was able to do it on a 10-footer. <laughs> it just has that, it has that ability, just like any other, you know, good race board. Good shoreline with landscape that's cutting all the glare. You, you could make 60-foot visual spots on fish, but most of the time you're gonna be within 20 foot. So yeah, the frustration is quietly getting rid of your paddle and uh, picking your rod up and making the shot. And that's where uh, I've done a lot of, a lot of R&D and <laughs> rod staging and paddle clip holding and stuff. And that's basically what it comes down to. It just put that pot paddle down quiet, you got your rod staged right in front of you, pick it up, make the cast, and, it, and there's nothing like, like it. You've got the shots you're gonna get at fish from a paddle board are gonna be close encounters, more so than on a, the bow of a skiff. To be able to just pick up on that is, is just awesome. I mean, you're seeing things, you're hearing grunting, you're so close. Uh, just the activity you don't pick up, just being 40 feet away from them, like, you know, from a boat. Uh, it's really neat to work a fish and, and just watch their activity, their habits. And uh, I mean, you, you, you learn a lot being able to observe these fish that close in. And being on the board is the best way to do it. That's what I like doing. I like getting that across to people. When I, when I talk to people about it, I'm like, I mean, you can get out of the boat. I mean, try the board. You'd be surprised. I mean, I know a lot of people have ditched the boats because they're not good at boats. They're not good at poling. But anyone can paddle these things and get close to them, you know? For more information on Dragonfly paddle board, skiffs, and the mothership T-bar riggings, go, go online at baycountyoutdoors.com.